guys. It's Lynn here. I hope everyone's having an amazing day. Now this is my big old Epiphyllum Ackermannii cactus and um, I've had this cactus for a number of years. It was given to me by my wonderful friend John who had had it for about 25 years himself so you can imagine the age of this old fella. Now it, usually every spring it has the most remarkable red flowers and if you haven't seen what the flowers look like on this cactus link up above there check out the beautiful blooms on this amazing epiphyllum it never fails for me every year and at first glance as you can see it's a perfectly good looking healthy cactus a little bit pale because it's been getting a bit too much sunshine which was one of the reasons why I've moved it and I'm glad I did because if it wasn't for getting a bit too much sunshine I wouldn't have discovered the most horrible thing on the back of this cactus now you've mentioned me a few times always saying the importance of always checking your plants for bugs and things regularly and I always do but this was over obviously overlooked by me look at this guys now this cactus was facing against the wall. This actual stem was twisting that way so I didn't see it at all. I always check over the plants. But because it was actually against the wall I never noticed it. But look at the state of it. It's covered, absolutely covered in horrible mealybug attack. Vile really is and thankfully it's it's very easy in this case with these type of plants the epiphyllums um, they're easily removed with soapy water um, and, a, and a good cloth they'll easily be removed but look at the size and, and loads of eggs as well the, the white fluffy parts of all the eggs say I'm going to be um, doing uh, this afternoon spending the whole afternoon debugging this plant with with uh, a cloth and soapy water Obviously, if you have very, very spiny cacti, um, isopyl alcohol is a better one to give it a good spray with to make sure we get in between all the uh, nooks and crannies, but this should easily come off. But basically, the reason why I'm making this video is just to say about the importance of always thoroughly checking your plants. And I'm guilty of this, guys, because obviously I'd look at first glance, quickly lift a few leaves. Oh, it looks great. There's no bugs. And that will be me every month. I do move my plants about as well and keep on top of it. But because this one is actually was actually um, stuck to the wall as such, it was actually looped in with a few of the, the garden ties, I never checked the back of the stems. And that's where mealybugs do hide as well as other bugs. They're not in places where you're going to see them. They actually hide in all the places you're not going to see. As in this case, that leaf there, as you can see, was the piece I was looking at completely clear. But look at the back of it. So... This is just a reminder to you all, by the way, um, just to regularly check your plants. Don't just look at them, take them out of where they are, turn the pots upside down and actually turn the leaves around, look in between them nooks and crannies and um, if you get bugs, obviously it's the best to get on top of them straight away. As you say, sometimes with soft leaf plants, sometimes something as simple as soap or water, soap rather than detergent, the natural soap, will help to eliminate them. And also isopril alcohol, regularly spraying with that helps to um, get rid of mealies. Um, and last resort, chemical sprays. But often a lot of the chemical sprays, even the systemics, are not very good and they're harmful for the environment as well. So it's always natural is best. But anyway, I just wanted to make that video just to give you a bit of a reminder to check your plants as um, a first glance it's not all it seems but this plant will make a, easily make a, a good recovery it's not really done any damage that I can see um, easily to wipe off and I'll do an update on it in the coming uh, weeks obviously making sure that these little blighters don't come back <laughs> and obviously check all your neighboring plants as well because they these pests they do don't just stay on the one plant thankfully um, a lot of my others seem to be doing pretty well but I'm going to have a complete go through all my entire collection and uh, just to double check so there you go everybody <laughs> sorry it's not flowers this time it's uh, bugs but um, I want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power from Ireland until the next video bye